Hi, welcome back to another review on the Mighty Max Doom Zone series. In 1993, there was a film released called Jurassic Park, one of the greatest films of all time, and it started that whole dinosaur craze throughout the 90s. And the Mighty Max franchise capitalized on this whole dinosaur thing with the release of The Dino Lab. A nice mixture between sci-fi and prehistoric stuff. Yeah, let's revisit it. Officially called Mighty Max Blows Up Dino Lab. So what we have is the head of a Triceratops. A memorable exterior. You got this nice scaly reptilian skin which feels ragged. You got a nice dash of green coming down the middle. Stoic green eyes. And a nice purple beak. The horns are pretty bizarre. Kind of gives it that mutated look. Now to open it up. Grab the sides of the mouth, and push the beak up. Now we see the Dino Lab. Bottom area is mainly rock, and is more of a platform ground. Upper section is the laboratory. Now we have four characters here. We got Max. Our antagonist is Professor Zygote. He's the mad scientist who has revived the dinosaurs. He kind of reminds me of Telly Savalas. He has a stressed out look, and carries a glass tube indicating he's a hard worker. We got the raptor. His design is similar to those raptors of Jurassic Park. The orange design is pretty good, and makes the dinosaur stand out pretty well from the rest of the set. Then we get the pterodactyl. This flying dinosaur is made out of green flexible rubber. Has a nice sharp beak, and a long wingspan. Now the set's bottom surface is dominated by a rocky ground. Has a nice greenish grey colour combined with the brown. We got this little volcano in the middle, which you open up to activate the plasma gun. Max can stand and operate it. Some intricate details inside the volcano showing all the hydraulic pipes and machinery. Here is the metal bridge that leads to the lab. Ooh, you can see the green hand. And we get a picture in the bottom of a weird mutated creature living in the water. And on the right is a purple lizard. Now the first floor is Zygote's lab. Here is all his science equipment. And inside this sci-fi storage box, you can see the green dinosaur eggs. Also, there appears to be more green eggs squeezed on the bottom. Hmm, how did that happen? Now up the green ladder, we get the raptor cage. You just open and close the gate like so. Up the yellow ladder, we got the storage space, with some coloured barrels. Most likely filled with nuclear waste. And there are two big lizards on the wall. Yeah. Unfortunately, there's no Triceratops, but we do get one in the comic strip. The story goes with Max walking through the metal bridge, stepping on the weird mutated hand. He suddenly meets Professor Zygote, who does a diabolical speech introducing his work. We see a Triceratops fighting a Pterodactyl. Max finds the emergency lever for the cage, and he chickishly releases the raptor. So this causes the three dinosaurs to engage in a melee. This drives Zygote nuts, so he gets on his plasma gun and tries to shoot Max. But he's a bad aim and he ends up shooting his laboratory, destroying the eggs. The whole place starts burning up as Max exits to the portal. Yeah, that was weird. <laughs> There was also a cartoon episode loosely based on this set called Zygote's Rhythm. Plot revolves around Dr. Zygote creating a ray machine that can advance or regress any creature's evolutionary scale. So in other words, turning basic lizards or animals into dinosaurs. It's kind of wacky, but it'll make sense when you see it. Anyway, closing procedure. Raptor is stored in the raptor cage, obviously. Put him in tail first. 
close the gate. Zygarde stands on the green ladder. Make sure his left hand clicks in. Pterodactyl stands here at the end. Just lodge his wings into the holes. And Max stands here. Keep your eye on the beak. Now close it up. Yeah. Anyway, that's the Dino Lab for you. And if you haven't seen the original Jurassic Park, go watch it. It has a lot of epic moments. Anyway, hope you enjoy the review, and I'll see you on the next one.